We are the keepers of the flame, the sacred order. Let the ceremony begin. I'm today Faithful Acolytes. We take a look at this. And what this is from Vacadios. It is the carne seca. Which uh, is dried beef. The translation's right there. Uh, the air, air dried beef suggested to me that it'd be kind of interesting. This is the part I was really interested in though, the habanero. The, uh, I like this packaging. This is really, really pretty. We got kind of a uh, different tones here. Sort of a bow of horns. We've got Phoenix, possibly. Little habaneros. So the idea, the thing that, a couple things that interested me is usually I don't do beef jerky because I don't like to eat beef jerky. I've had way too much tough, chewy, stringy beef jerky and it sucks and I hate it. So that's why you almost never see beef jerky on this channel. You see beef sticks here and there. The other, the other thing is that a lot of times it doesn't necessarily go quite that hot. But you can see this is, you can't really feel it here, but there's a little bit of sponge to this. So... I'm cautiously optimistic, plus I'm interested to see what air dried comes across as here in the context of this. So, uh, usual seasoning there. We have the habanero chili powder and we have cayenne. So I'm guessing the cayenne is there to give this a little bit of redness. So let's bust draw it open and see what we got. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, uh, let's do this. What if we just, what if we just dump it out? Don't need the desiccant for anything. And there we are, it smells pretty good. There you go. Big old pile of, so this, um. Reminds me kind of of the Lowry's beef jerky that came in the tin. You can see there's a lot of powder here. Uh, it's in these sort of strips. It's not quite as soft and um, juicy as I was thinking, but uh, that's all right. We'll just give it a go and see what happens. Flavor wise, we got a. Yeah, I like what they're saying here. A little bit of citrus. It is relatively soft. Probably from that citrus. A little bit of heat poking in. The flavor is interesting. It does remind me a little bit of carne asada. So I don't know, um, generally if you get a dehydrator, you're air drying your jerky anyway. I don't know if there's, air drying seems a bit redundant for jerky. But it's generally what you're doing. 
You're either hanging it in a smokehouse and just letting it sit there. Or you're throwing it in a dehydrator. I made beef jerky countless times. Like a lot of other stuff, you know, I did it for a while. I had some fun with it. And then for one reason or another, I stopped doing it and sat back down and never picked it back up again. So I will say this is a bit messier than a lot of other beef jerkies here. You can see it's very, um, very dusty. Back when, <laughs> so back when I was a kid, they used to have, you know, it's just weird that the crap they come up with for kids back then. So they used to have, of course, candy cigarettes and stuff, right? But they also used to have these, um, they look like snuff cans, and inside of it was shredded beef jerky. That reminds me a little bit of this. I mean, it wasn't particularly hot. We'll give it a default one, I guess. There's sugar in this, but zero sugar per serving. <laughs> I've never heard of Acadillos before. This side of Oklahoma. Um, I don't know that I would buy this again because this is a mess. Flavor-wise, it's fine. Very pretty packaging, but, I mean, look at this. Can you see? Can you see how dusty this is? Yeah. Look at that. You right here? This is the part I was talking about. This little sort of stuff. That's how they, they shredded the stuff and they put it in a snuff can. Tell you what, man, the 80s were something else. I don't know if it still exists, but there was something called Big League Chew back then. I came in a chew pouch, like chewing tobacco pouch. <laughs> back then, you could get I mean, you can get them now if you look for them, but they weren't super restrictive, but I mean, as a kid, I came across those chocolate, you know, those chocolate things that were shaped like liquor bottles with a little bit of liquor in there. We came across those plenty. Nobody thought of anything of it back then, really. Eventually they, uh, I guess they wised up, but, uh, yeah, a lot of, uh, a lot of craziness back in the, um, 70s and 80s. Nothing like that around anymore, but. Okay, so, Vacadios Tarde Seca Habanero. <sighs> After eating all that, I've got a really very low key burn. I call it default one as far as heat. Uh, flavor wise, I, I thought I, I expected there to be more flavor there. I guess. So when I was doing this, I would let it marinate for quite a while before I attempted to, you know. And you play with the thicknesses. If you're making it yourself, you're playing with the thicknesses. You can do whatever you want trying to get to that perfect end result. And 
This one to me is a bit too thin. I did appreciate that it didn't bury myself in, in my tea, so I have to get a you know a jackhammer to chisel it out again. I, I do appreciate that, but I think this could have done with being a little bit thicker. Flavor-wise, I mean it's fine. I don't I don't think there's anything wrong with the flavor of this. It was it was pretty solid. I just wish there was a higher concentrate of it, I guess. And that powder at the end apparently is where all the powder was because I, I think that's what that sort of mild burn is, is, is actually all the powder that was uh, off of this and in, in the little, little bits and pieces there at the end. So I got this, I, I think this is normally eight bucks at the gas station. Uh, it was on clearance when I got it for four. Four, I think, is honestly pushing this. But, um, I don't know. They, you don't, it's, it's definitely an interesting take on it, I guess. And if you're interesting, interested in experiencing different forms of beef jerky, you can't really go wrong here. It's not bad. It's quite edible. It's not particularly hot. It's pretty accessible as far as that goes. Uh, definitely has a more of a spin on it with the citrus. The sort of uh, carne asada type traditional flavorings that you might come across. So uh, in that respect, it's probably worth a go if you can find it for relatively inexpensive. But uh, packaging is, is great and everything as well. Uh, I would not pay full price for this though. So it's not it's not quite that good. But it was fun to do. I have, This is the first uh, beef jerky I've actually done on this uh, channel so far uh, in the FOH series. So... I don't know if I ever do more of these again because, like I said, most of the jerkies get into that territory where they're they're overly chewy. You know, they're almost like a dog chew toy at that point, and and I am not here for any of that. But this one, yeah, this one I think struck a a better balance than I thought it was going to. I thought it would be softer, and it really wasn't. But the overall result was uh, honestly not bad, and uh, we'll just leave it there. So there it is, the Vaga Dios, carne seca habanero. Air dry beef or beef jerky as you prefer. Now go full. In peace. To serve the flame.